Hello and welcome to our second video featuring some of the cheapest, biggest and fanciest thrift, second-hand and vintage stores in Tallinn, Estonia. Again, this is Tallinn and we decided to cover the five most central districts in town. Not all of them. In this part, we continued our trip in Kristine, Lasnami and Mustami. This time, we started at the beginning of Mustame T, which is still located in Christine, despite the name. The whole street and beyond is basically a smorgasbord of thrift and bargain stores along its whole length. Please also watch our video on bargain stores, where we will feature homeware, food, tech and furniture stores that have great prices. There's quite a few of them in the area. Our journey begins at Us Kasotuskeskos Mustame T. It is one of the biggest stores and one of my favorites. Why? Because they have what many other stores do not have in such abundance. Lots of shoes and bags as well as some fancy jewelry, often by French, Italian and German brands. While we were there, we discovered another furniture and thrift fashion store around the corner, just one minute from there. Factory Kazutusbot, which was unfortunately closed that day. So we just filmed the outside. Across the street, another one minute walk is Subrail Sobrale, or one of the Subrail Sobrale stores, where I recently bought a vintage porcelain plate from the 1976 Montreal Olympics for 5 euros. Just instinct because it's not my usual thing, but it's probably worth a bit to some collector. My instinct is usually pretty good in this. Then I bought a ladder band with golden, ins with golden inspiration for like one euro and an oversized vintage button with a fish from Soviet times with a Soviet stamp at the back for 50 cents. I will probably give some of what we bought throughout those trips for the two videos away sometime later on my channel, so keep on watching. Again, a minute walk away from there is Gigi Glamour, a store I myself put on Google Maps. It is located inside the long hall and it is a very tiny store run by a lovely Russian lady. She has a lot of nice porcelain for those people who are into that, some clothes and shoes and rhinestone brooches in pretty much every imaginable form from spiders to flowers to birds etc. In the same building is also a big Maxima, a Kanga Jungle for fabrics and haberdashery um, and across the street basically on the same side as Us Kasutus Keskus an organic store and a Lene Fabrikupod meaning like a um, factory uh, store outlet for kids fashion. Our next stop was Humana Mustameti six walking minutes away. It's a very clean and organized Humana one of the most fancy ones in my opinion they have a lot of women's fashion, specifically dresses, tops and jeans, and a nice little children's and men's corner on the first floor. This is the second floor in, in Estonian county. Like always, lots of German brands. Here I got myself like a false leather dress by Reserved, which is one of my favorite local brands. It fits me like a glove and I paid 9 euros for it. Right opposite is also Real Keskus for cosmetics and homeware. It's a bargain store, but we'll get into this in, in one of the other videos. Further down the road, there are shopping centers, a Kaupmes, which is basically the Estonian metro store, another Real bargain store for food and homewares, and also a huge Karakaselva, which has a whole bus stop named after it for good reason as well as another 11 minutes, uh, 11 walking minutes away, an antique furniture store, which is called um, Möblihal uh, or Hekairos. We will talk about old furniture and those bargain stores in a later video. We continued our walk nearby in Mustami, 11 minutes away from Karakaselva by foot. Our first stops were the USA Today and USA Today outlet stores within 15 minutes walk or one bus stop from each other. They are both excellent for dresses, handbags, swimwears and shoes, as well as label coats in winter. This is also a good area for supermarket, organic and thrift store shopping, with many many big shopping uh, centers in the area. We then went 
to Magdalena MTU, which is located on top of the USA Today outlet store, right at the roof of the building. They are a small NGO similar to Arete Legas, which we visited in the other video. I got a pair of washed out jeans in my size for free from the boxes outside the store, which is where they put stuff they can't sell. They have a few boxes uh, where people can take stuff for entirely free. A good thing to know for students and people who absolutely can't afford clothes in general. The store itself has a mix of donation items and factory sale items and is especially good for bedding, kids clothes and kitchenware. Opposite there is a cat shelter and I would like to seize this moment to say a couple of things here about adoption. Please adopt lonely animals. They need a good home, but only adopt them if you're responsible people in general. I just love it. I always, every time I go and visit Magdalena, I also visit the cats to pet one or two of them. I just unfortunately don't have enough space for an animal, but it's one of the places where I'm considering adopting an animal in Estonia. And then we wandered off to Magistral Keskus. Again, a good place to shop. They have a denim dream outlet on the first floor, which has American designer brands, and a Supral Suprale, a Humana. and the Magistrali Kirbuka store. At the Magistrali Kirbukas, I bought uh, this clown to make uh, jewelry for two euros and a keychain for 50 cents for my keys. All of those shops, so the thrift stores, are located at the cellar level of the shopping center. There is also a Kodo Extra and a craft supply store for tinkerers and fashionistas. Um, as well as an L cosmetic store where I usually get my spelt noodles because they're not so easy to find in Tallinn. Our next stop was the USA Today outlet on Shopruse Brüste, which is eight walking minutes away. Like all USA Today stores, it has lots of American brands uh, with cool American uh, high heels, boots and other hard to come by stuff in Tallinn. And pretty much a good mix of everything. Another 8 minutes walk away is Us Casutus Keskus, Rose Puiste. Here I found the bargain and purchase of my life, this beautiful sparkly butterfly brooch. Estonia is crazy about Libicas, butterflies here. And when I came to Estonia, I ogled the exact same color of butterfly brooch for months and I was too poor to buy it. And four years after, I was gifted with this brand new brooch for only three euros. I'm so happy. Now this was it for Mustami and we headed off by bus to Lasnami, which was a little longer journey. Um, it wasn't so easy to actually have every store next to each other. Our first stop there was Punaneus Kasutus Keskus, which is also located next to the local food bank, Toido Bank, which is, by the way, a very good idea to volunteer there for students or expats in particular. There is also a Real bargain store next to it, so check it out. Here we spotted those Prada glasses for 9 euros, I didn't buy them, but I recommend this store to everyone looking for cheap hoovers for about 10, 15 euros or coffee machines. There's always one of those there. And it's not so easy to find in some of the other um, thrift stores. Also, they have a good selection of boots, pumps, ladies clothes and bags. Then we went off to Tesayu Uskatuskeskus. Uh, by foot. It is faster by bus. We went by foot. They had the loveliest children's clothes decoration there. The store is also an excellent area for the whole family, with a Lasname Keskus nearby, with a big Nike outlet, tech stores for 
the guys and the girls alike, like Smart Tech, Frog, and bargain stores like Magazine next to uh, the Uskasutus Keskus in DSA YouTube. There I bought a brand new pair of AKG headphones for one euro, a Malware Bytes Cards uh, protection wallet for two euros, I use it for my travels, and the Rose Quartz ring for five euros. Also this reflective yellow neck thing for two euros that I want to use for sewing it on some top later on. I assume it was for kids originally. There is another Uskasutus Keskus uh, for furniture nearby, which we will show in the furniture video, just saying that I bought a holder for my glasses, which is from a design collaboration between Hurlitz and a German designer, for one euro, brand new. Then we went off to MSM Kirbuturg, the last store on our way. It is next to T1, the biggest shopping center in Tallinn, uh, which has a gazillion of stores. Also then in Dream Outlet, the cinema, other uh, sky park is there and so on. Uh, there are a few antique furniture and office furniture stores as well in the vicinity. So it's also a pretty good uh, place to shop. There were some really awesome uh, thrift stores that unfortunately didn't make it through COVID. Now, MSM Kibuturg is by far the fanciest of all the stores we've visited so far and, as is to be expected, the most expensive. They really have all the major French and American designers, from Chanel to Alaya, as well as some beautiful ball dresses, a collection of sunglasses and accessories and fur coats, which is kind of to be expected because from what I gathered, the store is owned and ran, run by some uh, Russian ladies. I was happy because they had lots of beautiful studded items. I love studs, I really do. As we are about to finish our excursion through Tallinn, I would like to say a few words about the district Nome. I'm aware that Nome has a few great thrift stores and outlets as well, like specifically around the Yevekeskus area that has the Oho outlet, a shoe outlet opposite, a Humana inside the center, Big Prisma and all kinds of other stores, also for organic uh, food. And further down into Nome, there's also now Kodokibukas, which used to be in my area, but moved there. There's the Nome Turk, the Nome Market, and some other bargain stores. We just didn't have any more time to cover it, as the majority of stores are closer to the center of town. Well, that was it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please subscribe. If you would like to get some help with vintage shopping in Tallinn, and want to shop with a fashion savvy friend, make sure to check out my fashion activism experience on Airbnb.